All right, we are heading to farm number one. Now, yesterday, New Year's Day, first day of the year, I spent a couple hours at farm number one remaking all the sets, putting in all new dirt, new bait, all that stuff because of that storm that we all got blasted with. We came home to a nice red coyote. If you didn't see that video, I suggest to go check that out because he's really pretty cool. And uh, I didn't film one thing yesterday. I'm sorry about that. I had a good time on the first day of the year, taking my time, enjoying doing what I do. And uh, this is going to be first night from uh, all the stuff that I set up yesterday. And we'll see what we got. We'll see if we got any action at all. Now we're expecting an inch of rain tomorrow. We'll see what happens after tonight. Maybe it'll get caught before the rain starts. I don't know. But uh, that's where we're heading. Farm number one. Put a couple new sets in. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll see you when I get out there. All right, we are at farm number one. We are at the we are in the very back corner. This is the old uh, log set that I had made. Still haven't caught anything here, but <laughs> I keep give, coming up with missing bait. So whatever comes in here likes to dig out the back. So what I did was I have two traps set here. Um, one is right there, right there is one, and the other one is uh, where the hell is it? somewhere around in here but i moved the log in between the two traps just to catch them walking around the log itself is loaded up with bait and stink and uh we're gonna see if we can catch whatever's ripping me off i caught two big raccoons here on this back corner i don't know why i haven't gotten any canine action but you know this is just like a, a perfect spot in, in my in my opinion so that's what I did. I moved the log in between the blind set and the original uh, the original trap that was in front of the hole. So there's nothing in front of the hole now. We'll see if we can catch them roaming around the log. All right, guys, we're going off off to the next one. It's a remake where I caught the red coyote the other day, and uh, everything looks good, untouched. She should hold up pretty good in the rain because I got it built on a slant. And now we're going to head up over there on the top of the hill. See what she looks like guys farm number one i am in the big field here down almost to the bottom and uh this is where i made the uh made good use of the woodchuck hole here couldn't figure out why i wasn't getting any action losing bait like crazy in here and uh turned out i checked it yesterday it looked good to me but it turned out my pan tension was too high i know i missed fox here i don't think i missed a coyote but i definitely missed fox so i remade the whole thing i got a nice fresh beaver leg down in that hole now and um, I'm setting this whole area up as the double. I don't know if you've seen one of my videos where all the coyotes showed up after season last year and they were in this field and you've seen how they made scrape marks and marked their territory and all that good stuff. So if you look at this field, it's wide open. There ain't nothing in here really. But there is a clump of grass like right here that looks a little bit different. So what I did was I made four holes in the ground filled them with sheep's wool and i put a different lure gland lure all four gland lures in the middle of this patch and uh, i know you think that the trap is probably right here but it's not it's over there it's right there so the trap is in the middle of the four holes which you cannot see everything is buried everything is out of sight it's covered in urine coyote urine and fox urine i'm just making this a giant post set and it is exactly 10 feet from the ground hole so we're setting up for a double right here everything looks good traps in wax dirt which is right there underneath those blades of grass and uh we'll see what happens if they come through this field and i get lucky i might get a double right here that's what you know sometimes the best fox and coyote set that there is is the one that you can't see at all the one that doesn't even look like a set and that's what i'm trying to do here this is just an open field and uh you don't see any big hole or no dirt pattern nothing all you see is what you see but the set itself is right here right in the middle of that and that's what i'm trying to accomplish to make a set that doesn't look like a set at all so we'll see if it pays off that's what i always try and set up for anyways so we're going to head up on top and see what's going on up there and then uh, farmer just called me and said that i had a fox up there by the bone pile so we'll go check that out in a little bit.
All right, guys, see you when I get up there. Another nice red right there, boys. Look at that guy. Man, this set's been sitting here for a month. This was the horn set that I uh, found an old goat horn, hollow goat horn. I stuffed it with all kinds of stuff. And, uh, man, that's it. We're over here by the bone pile. Where I made this beautiful hole set yesterday. Right there. Doesn't look like he even got that far. But, we'll take him. We'll take them. Nice red. That's going to be it.